Bruh. Well, you know the old saying, <clears throat> stranger things have happened. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. <laughs> Intro. Yo, it's me, ya boy, JJV. What is good, fam bam? What is good, Creek Squad? What is good, Goon Squad? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another review video. Yes, this will be a review video because I heard some things went down at the show. I had to see the things that went down for myself. Now, this, is act, this isn't actually the live uh, that Triple T did or had going on uh, during this show, but rather this is the clip from that live um, that makes my job a lot easier to, to review this. And uh, basically what happens, you see it in the title, we have Upchurch, Broadnax, and Adam Calhoun perform YZ live in Taylorville. They also perform If I Die Tonight <clears throat> there at that show. And uh, if you want to see that, I don't know if Triple T included that into this clip. I didn't actually watch through this clip all the way through. I, I only watched just the end portion of the live. So uh, hopefully the If I Die Tonight performance is included. Um, <clears throat> but this is from the live show that just took place over in Taylorville, Illinois. And uh, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead, check this out. And then your boy is going to give his thoughts as we check this out. So without further ado, we like to hear here. And we really gonna like to hear here. Are you sure? stage with church i wish this oh damn what did i do hit the wrong thing my bad y'all back to full screen mode ah i wish we could have got better video quality but you heard church kick things off with the yz performance and we have right here uh again i wish we had better video quality uh triple t i think you need to get a new phone my guy i'm just saying anyway uh we have a cow right here Sharing a stage with church. No, this is not old footage. This is brand spanking new. This was in Taylorville, Illinois. This is recent. And there you see we got old Papa himself. We got... Grandpappy himself, we got old Broadnax up there. Let's go. Oh snap, was that Jim Wayne? That is Jim Wayne right there, y'all. Okay. Jim Wayne was there. Fuck 
fuck yeah. So all you motherfuckers that took sides, I told you to not take sides. That's why I stay neutral. Every one of you motherfuckers that daggone said that I fucking split up, you motherfuckers owe me an apology. Fuck you. I was telling all these fucking haters in here that somebody kept calling my phone like 40 times to try to knock me out. I said, all you cocksuckers who came in here fucking stirring this beef up, I told y'all to stay neutral and don't pick sides and look what happened like fucking happy. Epic. Much love, everybody. It's been a long few days. My voice is fucking gone. Same thing for being out here. You ready to go home? Yeah, that right. was fucking awesome. Right. Let's get the Much love, everybody, man. I wish you guys could have been here. I appreciate you and every one of y'all. Much love and respect. Thanks for everybody who uh, gave the super chat. We're going to head get on the road. Much love. Babe, I love you, and I'll call you later. To the true fans, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate everything you do. All right, y'all. So due to uh, Tim's language, I had to cut out some of that footage. Um, so, yeah. I mean, there you have it. I mean, again, Triple T, you need a new phone, man, to get a better quality camera. So that way we... Because I know people are going to be all over my comment threads be like, man, that ain't real. That ain't real. Cause why, why, why is that camera, you know, all blurry? Why is the, the footage all blurry and shit? You know you're going to get those idiots in the comment threads talking about that shit. But, I mean, hey, best we got, y'all. It happened. I mean, I'm pretty sure Triple T is not the only one who caught this. There's probably other people who caught this. So, yo, feel free to search all over the, the YouTube streets and, and feast your eyes on Adam Calhoun and Ryan Upchurch staring the stage again, which means the beef is over. It's done. The drama is dead, finally. Thank the good Lord above. Thank God himself. You know what I mean? Because we don't need no division um, in in the whole, in the, in the music game, in the music sphere, you know what I mean? Especially in the country rap sphere, you know what I mean? No. Like I said, A-Cal is no good without church. Church is no good without A-Cal. It's just, it, 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 it's not a good look for them to be at odds with each other. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad they, they, they mend that bridge. And uh, so hopefully this means we'll see more future collabs with A-Cal, with Ryan Up Church. Hopefully this means we'll get future collabs with A-Cal, Mises, and Up Church. Or Mises and Up Church. You know, whatever combination they want to do. Either way, I can't wait to see what the future has in store for all these guys. It's, it's going to be a very interesting next few months. That's all I can say. It's going to be a very interesting rest of the year. For that. At least that's what I choose to believe. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Hats off to Ryan Up Church. I know he and I have our own personal issues uh, with each other. But, hey, I don't care. Regardless of how dude feels about me and regardless of how I may be feeling about him right now, hey, look, man. Whether it means anything to you or not, you definitely re-earned my respect. You know what I'm saying? So much love, much respect for Ryan Up Church. You know what I mean? For squashing this beef finally, once and for all. Killing all the drama. You know what I'm saying? And again, helping to mend that bridge with A-Cal. You know what I'm saying? And, and possibly Mises as well. Because I know Mises was at that show. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, this will lead to bigger and better things coming out from all three of, three of them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would love to see, you know... Again, yeah, collab projects with Broadnax, Mises, Acal, and Church. You know what I mean? All together. You know what I mean? And hopefully we will get that in the not-so-distant future. <clears throat> looking very looking very forward to all that. Now, yeah, like I said, I did mention um, my own personal thing between me and Church. As far as that goes, hey, look, man. <clears throat> it, it's That whole thing is over as far as I'm concerned. It's water under the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I still got love for Church. I still got respect for the dude. Um, I just wasn't agreeing with him. And I, in church, for watching this, I know you watch my stuff still. I know because you still comment on my stuff from time to time. And hey, look, man, I just want you to understand that I have no bias, okay? If, like you said, if, if your favorite artist says or does something suspect, don't be afraid to call it out. Don't be afraid to challenge them. And that's all I was doing, okay? I just want you to understand. I was just, I'm that, I'm that dude who doesn't like liars. Don't, I don't like deceivers. You know what I'm saying? Take that as you will. I hold everybody 
that's near and dear to my heart, everybody that I care about, I hold them all accountable for what they say and for what they do, and I keep them honest. That's how I've always been, whether it's my favorite artists, whether it's people in my circle, you know what I'm saying, my friends, my family, I keep everybody honest, and I hold everybody accountable for what they say and or do, and I expect those same people to do the same for me. And that's all that I was. There was never any mallet, never any hatred. Yes, I wrote, I wrote some diss tracks about you. And that's because, you know, hey, you know, I'm an artist, you're an artist. So I figured, you know, hey, you know what? Let, let, let's take it to the mic, you know what I mean? And see what what we can what we can do with that, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm over it now. I'm cool now. I got the shit out of my system, so I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm moving on, you know what I'm saying? Whether... Uh, church wants to be cool with me or not doesn't matter i'm moving on regardless you know what i'm saying i'm gonna keep doing my thing i and i wish church nothing but the best regardless you know what i'm saying and i hope that he continues to do his thing keep on grinding you know what i'm saying and uh yeah man much love much respect to everybody you know what i mean shout out to ryan up church adam calhoun Mises, everybody you know what i mean much love much respect keep chasing that paper keep doing your thing keep grinding keep your head up and yeah all right y'all pretty much all i got to say <clears throat> And with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah.